Most NATO air forces would only get a similar attack, terrain following radar to the one the Viggen had in 1979 with the Panavia tornado. In a theoretical conflict, Viggen's squadrons would likely have inflicted casualties on Soviet battle groups attempting to pass into the Atlantic north of Sweden or in the Baltic Sea to the south. The avionics supported many different bombing modes for the general purpose bombs. Toss bombing, dive bombing, high and low drag methods all are programmed in, giving the pilot lots of flexibility when it came to bombing employment. During the Cold War, Sweden developed a multitude of advanced aircraft. On a typical attack run, the Viggen would move to its target fast and low. The powerful engine gave it the capability to go supersonic at low levels. At a low altitude, the AJ-37 Viggen was one of the fastest aircraft in the world. 